So I entered this building. I was really nervous. It was kind of new in the, in the field. And this secretary who I was supposed to get bypass, she had all these pictures of her family, her kids, her two daughters and her on her desk. And they're all facing out. So many of them. So I was like, okay, that means in my head, she's not embarrassed to people to see her family, right? She's very proud of her children and her. As I approach, I don't see any husband in the pictures. It's just two, looks like two preteen daughters and her. And they're always on these vacations on a beach. Now, I don't know what was happening in my head, but I thought I'm going to try compliments, see. But my brain probably knew what was happening, but there was no way to stop it. My hand reached for a picture as I went up to the desk and she goes, hey, how can I help you? And the picture I grabbed just happened to be her two preteen daughters in bikinis. And I went, wow, they're beautiful. (laughs) And as it's coming out, you know how like a cartoon, I'm like reaching for the words. I'm like, no words, please come back. No, don't leave my mouth words. And she does this. She sits back in her chair. Her eyes get wide. She takes the picture out of my hand and she goes, how can I help you? And I went, I forgot something in the car. I'll be right back. I never came back. I just got in the car and drove away, right? Here's the point I learned from that. Compliments, they have to be at the level of rapport that you presently have. See, just because I think that this woman is beautiful doesn't mean I have the right to tell her that. I don't have the right to tell her because my level of rapport with her may be complete stranger. And a complete stranger telling this woman that she's beautiful is not flattery. It's creepy, right? So at what level of rapport could a person tell another person that their two preteen daughters are beautiful? You better be really good friends, right? Some of my best friends can tell me that my daughter is beautiful. Other than that, I'm wondering why you're saying it, right? Because why are you interested in my daughter who's way younger than you, right? So unless we're best friends, that is not an appropriate compliment. So our rapport and level of relationship indicates what compliments can be given. And oftentimes what I find in my classes that people make mistakes at is they give compliments thinking that the bigger and the better the compliment, the more rapport will be built. It's the very opposite. If I walk up to a woman as a pretext in my job and I go, wow, you are stunningly beautiful. Even if she believes it, let's say she woke up this morning and she goes, wow, I am beautiful. I say it and she's like, what do you want? Because there's no reason why a stranger would walk up unless you want something. So rapport wasn't there. Where what I should have done with that woman, that that very same, is I should have said, wow, you have so many beautiful pictures of vacations. You know, I stink at vacation planning. It looks like you're great. What what beach is this? Because this looks like I, my kids would have a great time here. And now I'm validating her vacation planning, her picture taking, not her children. And that level of compliment is okay when you're a stranger, not talking about her preteen daughters in bathing suits, right? So where you are in the stream of your relationship that dictates what compliments you can give. (laughs) 